guys, it's Queen Nija, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 7 of Ascendance of a Bookworm, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I don't even want to talk about her dying, please. I, like, I don't want to cry, you know. We technically talked about it last week, but I don't really want to talk about it during the show. We're almost done with this show, damn it. And I don't want this little girl to die. I love her too damn much to see her die. I don't want her to die by the end of this series. Like, she's too freaking cute. You have to love her. <laughs> It is a little weird to watch this last because I normally watch this like what second and the weirdest thing happened like when I woke up I was up around like 12 and this didn't come out until about almost one o'clock which was so weird because only Kashiro and the other show that I'm watching was already out Dice Club wasn't even out yet so I was like okay this is kind of weird though but gotta accept it <laughs> but it's still you know it's a little weird. Okay, my child. Well, because there's a possibility that a lunch could turn into a job opportunity, maybe. You never know. So good. Poor baby. Mm -hmm. Um. But why though? Yeah. Mm. 
apologizing. Oh, you yeah. know. To defeat the Huns? <laughs> Yes. Doesn't, but hold on, hun. Do you not want the money though? I mean, it could be good for you. Okay. You know my heat on. It feels like it's, it's not getting any warmer in here. Ooh, I wouldn't took rice of that too. Something wrong with them? You sure? Maybe wait until you guys are done and then talk to them. That's why you should have reserved the rights for it, hon.
the dagger for? Do you really need blood? Oh. Seriously? Wait, uh -huh. This little prick. There you go. Yeah, you've been down ever since. What's wrong? Just talk to her. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's figuring it out. Oh, good. No. Oh, honey, it's okay. Are you dreaming?
Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I still think Lisa's is still going to warn you. He's still going to have a suspicion. But it may die down by the end of this episode. She's bowing. It's okay. You can wait until tomorrow. Plus, he was busy. Huh. Basically can't go anymore. Oh no, honey, don't say that. She'll always need you. Be honest.
Really? Yeah. Makes you wonder when he'll ever call her mine again because the fact is that now he suspects her not being the true mind. What would you possibly call her now? You know, maybe one day he'll ask her what her actual name is and stuff or whatever happened to, you know, mine, the real mine, and not the mine that we all know and love as of right now. But I'm happy that they're getting all this success. It's going so well, and it's going to be so good, and I can't wait to see what the heck is going to happen next for you, too. I just, I understand why Luke has this suspicion, because the words that she was saying, and of course, you know, they're little kids. No little kid should be saying some big-ass words like she is. Some big, <laughs> well, like, she has a very amazing, incredible vocabulary. The words that she says are very beautiful and different that someone her age shouldn't be saying that only really maybe a teenager to an adult should be saying those words. But, you know, she has a teenage mind. Technically, teenage more of young adult mind. And the thing is, no one knows that but her. So, yes, it's, you know, it's okay. In my opinion, it's okay for her, for her to know big words like that and to know the meanings. And while... Lutz, who is about like a five, six year old, um, shouldn't know. But because of the fact is mine is supposed to be a five, six year old child, she shouldn't really be knowing these words. But it happens. Lutz is mine. <laughs> one day they're gonna do an art style on her from the Sun Chicago verse because I mean I just a couple of days ago I just freaking watched the next two episodes of Izzy Order a Rabbit and the last episode that I watched um had an art style from Sun Chicago and I mean between this show Sun um Izzy Order a Rabbit um the Romeo and Juliet anime that came out last year I love every single week with the end card showing like different um, manga artists who do the illustrations for the end cards. They're just so freaking pretty. I can't really see who it's by because the wording is so small because I see illustration by and it's with the C. But they're all so beautiful and you get to see her in different drawings and different animations and stuff. It just looks so pretty. But I hope next week goes well. I think officially with this next episode, this is going to be the moment officially where Luce is probably going to tell our mind how the real mind possibly was. Who really knows? I mean, it could go any freaking way, but honestly, I can't wait to see. Because the biggest thing is, like, what I really wanted to know, because her parents and Thule have gotten, like, told us in a way backstories about mine before our new main character, mine came in and took over her life and everything. But I feel like Lutz possibly knows a little bit more because of the fact is, I think they hung out a lot and stuff, but Still, we're not really going to know until next Wednesday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of Ascendance of a Bookworm. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matchless Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 8. Bye, guys. <laughs>